Welcome to the exhibition entitled R.M. Roman Modzelewski. The Boat Town Dream in the Historical Temporary Exhibition Hall of the Museum of the City of Łódź. The exhibition consists of seven thematic sections that tell the story of the life and work of Roman Modzelewski, an outstanding artist, designer and teacher. Each section features a display board with a lead-in text. In the bottom right-hand corner, you will find information about the number of the recording which you can listen to in the given section of the exhibition. Next to selected objects of the exhibition, you will also find the numbers of recordings. Once you have selected given numbers, you can listen to the audio description of the selected works. On his way to Wuj, 1912-1945 In the first section, you will find examples of early painting and works of applied art, as well as design art. The first thing which draws attention is the photograph from the late 1920s of Poland's first folding sailing canoe. Roman Modzelewski developed a lifelong passion for sailing when he was young. As a teenage scout, he had a talent for design, and he went rafting in a canoe which he had made himself. Another interesting exhibit is a sketchbook from the late 1930s and early 1940s, with a preserved pendant from this period, drawings and notes on the technology of using materials. The sketch and painting from the collection of the Museum of the City of Łódź, under the title Łódź Fabryczna, painted in the city which Modzelewski moved to in 1945, is a particularly important item. The industrial panorama shows the reality of the working-class city, in which the artist embarked not only on his long-lasting creative activity, but also on a didactic career. Fighting for the Programme and the University The Heroic Period of the Academy of Fine Arts in Łódź Section 2 thematically covers the period of creating the programme of the Łódź Academy by its first educators and founders under the leadership of Władysław Szczeminski. Here you will find archival documents, photographs of Professor Modzelewski spanning from the 1940s to the 1970s, and quotes from his speeches as Vice-Chancellor. The most important of these, referring to the role of art and the artist in the contemporary world, can be found at the top of the walls throughout the exhibition space. Throughout the 37 years of his teaching career, Modzelewski ran the drawing and painting studio, teaching students how to logically convey the concept of painting. Apart from photographs documenting the artist's pedagogical activity, there are also photographs of the mock-up and the construction of the only building in Poland specifically designed as an art school. The increasing number of students participating in the shaping of modern design in the lightweight and clothing industry, but also the completion of the new building of the school in 1975, were the realization of some of Professor Modzelewski's dreams. Time for Wuj. The third section shares space with the previous one because the period of his teaching career was a turning point for Modzelewski as an artist and a new citizen of the city. It was for the city of Łódź that he co-developed key public projects. In the 1950s and 60s, Modzelewski was the designer and main consultant of the new development concept of the Old Market, a section of which is portrayed in the painting sketch of the elevation of an exemplary tenement house. The artist also designed the entrance gate to the mausoleum in Radogosch, which exists to this day. The sketch and the photograph show the metalwork entrance gate to the site and the decorative bars in the fence wall. It is the artist's only surviving public project in Łódź. In this section, you may also see a gramophone made by the Radio Works in Łódź in the 1960s. For this particular model, the artist designed a needle arm holder with an interesting shape. This rotating plastic element allowed the user to unlock the arm with a single movement and prepare the turntable for use. The Sun and Sails in search of forms and new materials. The fourth section shows numerous examples of Roman Modzelewski's multi-threaded work from the period between 1946 and the end of the 1960s. 
This section begins with photographs from a plein air painting workshop in Nova Ruda, organized together with Władysław Szczeminski and Stefan Wegner. The results of the plein air workshop are paintings, abstract in form, innovative for avant-garde art, of the sun, painted for the first time in 1946. They are the result of experiments based on the observation of changing colors and shapes that result from an optical phenomenon called afterimage or after contrast. These works are representative of solarism, a movement initiated by Modzelewski and later continued by Struminski. In the following years, the artist took up the theme of still life and landscape, painting the sales series presented in this exhibition. As we turn to the right, we find works depicting the first experiments with new materials. The artist made use of them as early as the late 1940s, creating painted reliefs and later sculptures. The artist used his own method to obtain the rich structure of his compositions, among other things, by combining oil paints with synthetic resin. Examples of these activities are represented here by works from the 1950s and 60s. The draft and photographic documentation of the interior decoration of walls and windows in the department store in Podaun Bitze from the 1970s are particularly noteworthy. One of the surviving, partially preserved panes decorated using the artist's unique technique with the use of tinted resin and glass pieces is presented in the hallway leading to the exhibition gallery. Visionary Experiments – Roman Modzelewski in Mass Culture the fifth section is the central part of the exhibition. The most iconic and well-known examples of Roman Modzelewski's design work are displayed here. The artist's first armchair, the RM56, was designed and handmade from plywood, painted yellow. What made the seat unique was the unusual location of the point where the pieces of board come together. The use of vinidur in the centrally exhibited armchair modelled on the RM57, was the first attempt to form a piece of furniture out of thermoplastic material. The next model, the RM57, was made entirely of upholstered metal. In 1958, Modzelewski constructed a pioneering armchair in Poland, made entirely from glass epoxy laminate. The first armchairs had a light cream shell. The designer then added black, red, yellow and green pigments to the epoxy resin. The seats were manufactured by hand, with the help of an aluminium mould, used to model and harden the seat shell. Photographs and studies showing preparatory sketches, a die-cutting machine and the RM58 patent are also on display alongside the original furniture and mould. Roman Modzelewski's Fulfilled and Unfulfilled Dreams in the sixth section, which occupies a small separate room, you can view drawings and models of yachts, photographs depicting their construction and use, as well as photographs documenting Roman Modzelewski's sailing activities. The artistic content of the space is represented by abstract, geometric sketches and paintings called compositions from the 1970s, 1980s and 1990s, done using the artist's own techniques. These works are an example of the fact that pure art, technological experiments and design activities permeate educational activity. Modzelewski drew on his experience of using plastics when constructing sailing yachts, the models of which were presented at the exhibition. He was the first person in Poland who made a sea cabin yacht from epoxy laminate. The second boat designed and built by Modzelewski, called the Amulet, was made of polyester glass laminate in the mid-1970s, when the use of plastics was becoming common among ship owners. The last concept of building the Talisman was never materialized. The Global Comeback of a Design Icon The last section displays works on the wall, leading to the timeline and the exhibition exit. The works exemplify the emergence of Roman Modzelewski's most famous work in Polish culture, the RM58 armchair. The armchair owes its current status as a global design icon to the Warsaw-based company Wzur, 
which launched the iconic models into mass production in 2012. The film still shows the RM58 in such Polish films as The Eighth Day of the Week, Mr. Anatol Seeks a Million, and Where Are You, Luisa? An enlarged coloured shot from the first film was used at the exhibition as a natural background for the colourful, illuminated blocks featuring the famous furniture. What are worth noticing are the miniature models of RM56, 57 and 58 and a series of collectible Polish industrial design postage stamps. To finish the tour, you can trace an extensive timeline of Roman Modzelewski's life and work. We also encourage you to relax in the comfortable, contemporary versions of the RM58 armchair and watch documentaries from the 1970s and 1990s on Polish design. Title Łódź Fabryczna Author Roman Modzelewski Year of Creation Circa 1945 Technique Oil on Canvas Dimensions 25 by 62 centimeters A composition in the form of an extended horizontal rectangle. It depicts a sweeping panorama of the industrial city. The buildings are painted in broad brush strokes without marked details. Thick layers of paint create the meaty texture of the painting. The prevailing colors are faded, gray and purple with a touch of brown. In the foreground, there are low, one-story buildings with sloping roofs and isolated spots of green trees in their background. The flat texture contrasts with the rest of the image. In the background, there are further buildings in the form of dark brown overlapping stripes. One of them is nearly red in colour. The long veil of white smoke stretching over it may suggest that it is an outline of a speeding train. On the high horizon, there are dark grey and blue blocks of high buildings with two tall chimneys in front of them. All around, there are billowing light grey clouds of smoke which nearly fill the sky. In places, they are interspersed with green, blue and pink colours, with numerous, hardly visible, factory chimneys in the background. In the upper right-hand corner, there is a patch of dark blue sky, suggestive of an approaching storm or evening. Title Sun 2 Author Roman Modzelewski Year of Creation 1946 Technique Oil on Canvas Dimensions 61 by 50 centimeters An abstract composition resembling a square. The whole painting is covered with irregular, multicolored patches with ragged edges. Pure, sharp colors dominate with a prevalence of yellow and red. The paint is applied in thick layers with visible brush marks. The main focus of the painting, a vibrant yellow plane, shifted slightly towards the upper left-hand corner. Its luminosity is emphasized by white and orange streaks. Above the yellow plane, there are two concave narrow shapes from below. The first one is green, the one above red. Below, towards the bottom left-hand corner, there is a tangled dark black shape. To the right of this, there are three consecutive irregular strands stretching diagonally towards the upper right corner, blue, light pink and red ones. The last one overflows in a wide blotch to almost the entire lower left-hand corner of the painting. Its corner, similarly to the opposite corner, upper left, is of a faded neutral brown colour. Title, Composition Author, Roman Modzelewski Year of Creation, 1946 Own Technique Dimensions, 44 by 55 centimeters. A relief composition was made on hardboard, monochrome in brown with a delicate metallic sheen. The abstract curved shapes fill almost the whole surface of the rectangle. They emerge irregularly from the background, like a ruptured web or a weave of fabric. 
The repeated rhythm of small, protruding arches is sometimes interrupted by empty, flat planes. The lower, dangling part of the lines is considerably thickened, giving the entire grid a meteor, somewhat heavy shape. Arches of similar height but varying span, grouped in vertical columns of varying width. The relief composition is an example of the artist's experiments with new techniques, which he also used in his sculptures and designs of functional elements, such as grills or other architectural decorations. What is characteristic of them all is the biological form as well as the multiplied, multidimensional structure. Title of the work Inventory of Objects Roman Modzelewski's Yacht Author Yolanta Wagner Year of Creation 2012 Technique Drawing on Wood Dimensions 150 by 200 centimeters Natural wood-coloured drawing board with visible scratches, stains and traces of use in the form of small prick marks. Purple and black ink inscriptions of the technical drawings of the amulet yacht designed by Roman Modzelewski fill the desktop. In the centre, an overall view of the yacht, turned 90 degrees to the right, fills almost one-third of the entire tabletop. The space above and below is densely filled with drawings of the various hull sections and its details. Individual elements are arranged irregularly, often in the form of unconnected construction or assembly diagrams. In the lower right-hand corner, there is a coordinates table, with many columns and lines which are not filled in. This is the author's tribute to Roman Modzelewski's work and is also an element of an artistic project she has been running for years, entitled Census of the Common, in which she catalogues using various techniques, places, facilities, and objects that are important to her. Name of object? The RM58 armchair seat form. Author? Roman Modzelewski. Year of Creation, 1957. Material? Aluminium. Dimensions, 70 by 70 by 70 centimetres. Aluminium mould for making casts of the RM58 armchair. Made of bare, uncoated metal with a rough surface in a sandy colour. The mould is made of several elements, dividing the armchair into different parts. The seat, the back, the armrests, the sides and the rear part. Each element has several rectangular projections allowing it to be attached to the neighbouring mould with wide and long screws. At the joints of its individual parts, there are visible shiny yellow, red or brown plastic streaks. This is the residue from the mixture poured into the mould, which solidified into the desired shape of the RM58 armchair during the process of repeated rotation. Name of object. The cover of the yachting magazine. Year of Creation, 2015 Technique, Offset Printing Dimensions, 30 by 20 centimetres The photograph of the red RM58 armchair almost entirely fills the cover of the yachting magazine. Against a uniform greyish-beige background, we see the name of the magazine and the titles of the articles in the same colour as the chair. On the left, above the bottom edge, there is a distinctive title, larger in size than the other inscriptions, Roman Modzelewski, the Archduke of Polish Yachting. The free space of the cover is filled with handwritten notes by the designer's wife, Vera Modzelewska. The small black notes are divided into several freely spaced paragraphs. Some disappear behind the silhouette of a chair, or are rotated 90 degrees to the left. There is information about the yachts designed by Roman Modzelewski, their origins, technical details, or the historical contexts of their creation.